To add Google authorship, you need to know your Google Plus profile link, a number. So let's make sure we know how to find that number, and then we'll return to this area in Thesis Admin. If you are signed into your Google account, as we are here, then the easiest way to determine your Google Plus profile link is to click on the small arrow to the right of your avatar, and from there, click View Profile. At this point, look inside the address bar and locate the profile link number. Select only the number and then copy it to your clipboard like this. Now that we have that, let's hop over to Thesis Admin, Site Submenu, Google Authorship, and click there. Simply paste the profile link number here, hit Save, and for a single author site, we'd be done with the thesis side of things. For a site with more than one contributor, each user who creates content can have a unique number. If the site has several authors, then a quick way to get to the user's section is to click the symbol for more info and then click on the link for user profile page. Here you would click edit on a given user and the profile link would go here. You click then on Update User off screen here. And having done that for each contributing author to the site, you'd be done with Thesis and Google Authorship. But there is one more step. Initially, we visited a specific Google Plus account to obtain its profile link. And now there's a final step to close that loop. In Google Plus, click About and then scroll down until you see the links. Click Edit, and under the Contributor To section, click on Add Custom Link. Here's where we're going to put the website on which you have just established your Google authorship using Thesis. And again, off screen is a save save that to action, and we're done here. You now have a Google Plus profile connected to a certain author on a thesis website and vice versa, resulting in successful Google authorship.